Wedding videos for as low as 100,000 Naira? Gusto got you covered. Call 08061344639 or 08064406274. Terms and conditions apply. Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Gusto Reaction on Gusto, Gusto TV. TV. Thank you guys for what you do for us, liking our videos, commenting on our videos, as well as sharing all our videos, guys. We love, we appreciate you, Always. and we want you to keep on doing this for us. Please keep on sharing the gospel of Gusto. Remember to also subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Right, My name is Andy, and I have done if. Feski, yeah, Don Feski, what's up now? How are you doing? All right, right Don Feski, tell me something. Um, when did you? What year would you say you started listening to Nigerian music? What year exactly? Yeah, can I remember? I'm out it since. Oh, I don't what class were you in? Okay, I just start using phone. Probably, probably five. Rafael, that's when you started okay yeah. started knowing nigerian artists and music. Started knowing nigerian music but then before then before i started using the phone you know we still have mp days and yeah. that time palito if you study palito it means you know the og for <laughs> for the for the lungu uh palito have your music uh player yeah get so at time you have to buy other ones i have cassette you, cassette, put cassette you, put you open the cassette you open the cassette you yeah you roll it if you don't like you roll it Pencil, mm. <laughs> you put you your know, so it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Listening so, we, what, what artists do you listen to back then? Uh, back then, uh, what artists do I listen to? Uh, the likes of the, them OGs in the game, likes of them, two Baba, them, two face, uh, two Baba, two, two face, face band, them, them, the bunch, them, it, this Abu Karim, as at that time, we're yeah. buzzing, uh, Mad Melon also had some time. Then, so a couple of international. Artist um, Michael Jackson actually, yeah. artist Michael Jackson at some point. Um, Lucky Dube, um, the Mali. Um, what's the name of your, your your father now? Bob. Bob Mali and a couple of other guys. Couple of other guys. Okay, you mentioned one particular name. You mentioned Two Face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is now Two Baba, by Tubaba. the way? Mm -hmm. And this particular issue actually caused something of recent. The yeah. whole Two Face Two Baba stuff. Yeah. yeah, and he is the one that we have on this particular one as well mm. as some some other person yeah okay to baba what's your favorite song <laughs> definitely african, african queen, queen. I, I just did uh, my lyrics interpretation to the african queen song and then people liked it yeah and the way i w went about it to baba has been around for years and then yeah. he's, he's tried to be impactful in his own way uh there was just a time that something happened that um the old, I think he was supposed to lead a protest at some point and then he backed down yeah. at the time and people were like, oh, he has collected bribe and everything, but it was like, he just didn't want violence yeah. and all of that, that's why he had to like relent and, and all of that. Like, but then he hasn't stopped voicing out, talking about African unity, talking about peace and all of that. He's ambassador to, um, um, I can't remember, but then one of the African bodies is yeah. an ambassador to, to, to their body and all of that. So I think Tugaba has been around for a while, yeah. impacted. Even though we cannot now really say compared to these other new guys around, can really cannot really mention that okay, this is like a particular artist that Two Face has helped and everything yeah. like that. Like the only thing I feel that okay, as a legend, being a legendary status, and it's not just him. People in his um set, set. when like when they were rising up, you can really like it's really hard to tell that oh this person brought up to Super Star, apart from maybe Don Jazzy, that you can say that okay, he's still doing his thing yeah. and he's still helping artists up. But then Two Face, them Two Baba, them the band, um, them One the Cold, those are OGs in the game. Yeah. Uh, you really cannot say okay, this is a certain person that they have helped up. But but you could actually also say that the new beats, the new set of artists, yeah, have actually patterned their music Definitely. to sound like these guys. They've, they've impacted the yeah. new set of artists because growing up, they were the ones we were listening, listening to. to. So and then what you listen to for a longer time would also impact on how you react or how you say or how you sing your own yeah. songs so one way or the other they are they have their legendary status they've impacted the culture they've taken they, they were like the foundation um, foundation for for Apple Beats, yeah because uh they also went international at some point got features got featured by artists they won international awards, awards. and all of that so you can tell that okay this guy they've done their beats um regards to laying the foundation 
for the next generation, the likes of the Whiskey, Davido, Olam, the Bonner Boy, yeah. to step on and then the newer generation that are in right now. Okay, talking about laying the foundation for some particular set of people, you definitely say this guy here, Bonner Boy, yeah. one of the people who have enjoyed the foundation laid yeah. by these guys. Although Bonner Boy would always say, nobody helped me. I beg, you I see, beg. I, nobody at any point I who beg. impacted my I music beg. apart from Fela. I beg. That's what he would always say. <laughs> Don't mind, Bonner, but yeah, I listen to Fela too, by the way. <laughs> Oh, you listen to Fela, yeah, um, then you probably like dance for like the first 10 minutes before the song came in. You know? <laughs> okay. Okay. If you remember in the year 2019, mm -hmm. during Coachella, um, they brought out the list of performers mm. and then Bonaboy's name was actually written yeah. in very small cap. Okay. Here it is written in small cap. And then Bonaboy was like, okay, no, 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 this cannot be. That was, that was the Abuna boy was hot. Yeah, it was actually African, giant. African yeah. giant. It was really, it was like, okay, why would you put my name in mm -hmm. so much small mm -hmm. cap? And the Abuna boy came out to say, at Coachella, I really appreciate you, but I don't appreciate the way my name is written so small in your bill. I am an African giant, mm -hmm. and I will not be reduced to whatever tiny writing means. Mm -hmm. Fix things quick. Please. <laughs> okay, everybody knows that Bonaboy Boy, man, used to gara, used to bira, used to, used to ze. But, um, very much... Do you think he was in his right? Ah, uh, well, it's 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 an invite to to Bonner Boy, and then I think the way these guys do the fun mm -hmm. things are uh, they pick up the top guys, yeah. and then they like line them up according to how they are ranked. Bonner Boy, he knows that okay, we have a list artists, we have B list artists, yeah. that's, like that standard everywhere all over the world. And Nigeria, they are A-list artists, no doubt. Yeah. But then outside Nigeria, they are not. We cannot say that they are A-list artists. Yeah. Uh, a Bonner Boy and a Justin Bieber are not in the same league, no. even if he's older than Justin Bieber. A Bonner Boy and an Ed Sheeran are not in the same league, even though he's older. So basically, it's not even by the age or by how long you've been in the industry. Yeah. It's by the numbers you are doing. It's by the boundaries you've broken. Yeah. Bro, these guys will do war tour. It's, they don't even do um alls. They do stadiums, stadiums, they do stadiums, they do arenas, arenas, white space, and then they sell out 20k, 30k capacity. Abona Boy at this point was like the hottest. I uh, dropped African Chant album, and then the year was like the rave of the moment at that time. So it felt like, okay, having my name, Abona Boy, sitting alongside some of these guys that are here is like a slap on his face. And it felt like it could have been somewhere around here, yeah. Up here. But I think they edited and then he was like, Yeah, they, they put him back. They put I know. Him back because he's like a major headliner. So he definitely is not an headliner. You cannot say they should now give him that phone. So it was like placed on the first line on the edited one. But obviously he called the fact that guys, I'm I don't deserve to be there. I deserve to be up there yeah. written in big caps. Yeah, and then they them. were like, Okay, yes, actually they've, they've just had to themselves. adjust it real quick. Actually, to me, actually, I think Bonaboy had a point because if I'm looking at this name for the headliners for his particular day, just Khalid and uh, maybe YG and then yeah. Playboy Carty, that are people that I feel okay, they were bad hot. Is, is not bad, too. Bad, body bad Bunny was, in, was in 2019 that at that point in time. But obviously, up here, you have Chadis Gambino, was really mm -hmm. hot at that point. Mm -hmm. This is America and all that part. So, something also happened of late. Another one happened that was the Chop Vegas. And one of our legends, this year 2022, yeah. is yet to happen actually, but the poster is out. Mm -hmm. One of the legends that we just talked about, Tsubaba, yeah. his name is written here. Two as two face and also not written as bold as the headliner here Bonaboy. Boy. and people have come out talk about the fact that why would you write two face names there as two face mm -hmm. and not to baba yeah. and then you also disrespected him by not giving him a very large font because he's way bigger than all these names you put here yeah. and he started music way before all these people mm -hmm. and his legendary status is way above all these people mm -hmm. so do you think this particular poster is disrespectful in any way uh, for me, the first thing it was the name that they got wrong. Two, yeah. two Babas changed his name like years ago. Yeah. And then everybody addresses him as Two Baba first off. Uh, looking at his legendary status also in the game, I've seen other posters with, um, people that are legendary in the game, uh, in the U um, US yeah. concert now, for instance. The way they go about it is they have their headliners written up. Yeah. But then for the legend, for the OGs that have been around for a while, they put them separately under. So, and then they have the other featured artists. Yeah. If they had done that, probably put a two face, just two face, but two about just two about just down, down there. They don't even have to say is they lining or not. But then him being down there is like enough respect for two baba. Uh, well, probably they, they, they put him first so that he's okay. You know, okay. Give him some respect. some respect from them. But then I feel that this is like not too, um, respectful, respectful for a legendary, a legend like yeah. two baba. 
Okay, talking about the fact that yes, the the name stuff is definitely off it. I mean, yeah. Tubaba is Tubaba now. Everyone knows about mm -hmm. that. Then you know, the whole talk has gone on and on and on. Then Tubaba has decided to come out to talk about the fact that yeah, here, guys, let's see what Tubaba is saying here. Tubaba says, I understand some peeps um argue about font size and disrespect and all, but my people na life, but my people na life be that. He says, you know, change the fact say I too much. Okocha and Kano them Okocha and Kano them respect Igalo and Obafemi Martins. Yeah. Even Maradona respect Messi. Mm. He no change the fact. Now, you see what he did there? Yeah. The legend respect, respect the young the, cats. The current guys. Yeah. And then he also says, please, our music slash movies and cultures is doing things our African governments have not been able to do. Mm. Let's all fall into the trap. Let's not all fall into the trap of being our own enemies mm. all over again. But this year is this main point I want to talk about. Bringing out legends, Okocha and Kanu, he says yeah. they still respect Igalo and Obafemi Martins. So yeah. this is him saying the fact that I am a legend, Definitely. irrespective of anything, nothing, nothing you want to say. Definitely. I am that particular legend. Mm. So me then putting my name alongside other people's name, it not change anything. Yeah. Do you agree That's, with him? Well, well it, it, it doesn't even it doesn't change anything like he has said because uh, it doesn't change two Baba from being two Baba. Yeah. It doesn't change the way the fans would react. Uh, the, the way the fans will be happy when he's performing his songs. Yeah. It doesn't change the nostalgia they will have when, bro, Two Face will sing African Queen. Mm -hmm. People are going to go crazy because the song is is like evergreen. Whenever yeah. you listen to it, whenever you hear it being played or being performed, you just go crazy and want to sing voice back, back to back. He's had a lot of songs that are like that. So it doesn't really change Two Baba from being Two Baba, actually, like he said. All right, then he also says, there is no blueprint to this life. Two Baba will be Two Baba always. He says, now Two Face slash Two Baba will be always. AKA a guy, AKA innocent. I will never try to be somebody else. And I say try because that is all. That's all. Okay, that's all it will be and all it will amount to. So this is Two Baba talking about the fact that, guys, irrespective of what they say, Two Face or, or Two Baba, now still me. You know, change yeah. saying, I mean, no change innocent. anybody saying, I me still be innocent, mm -hmm. now still me be the guy. Yeah. Okay, this is just, is this Two Baba just being the humble guy? Uh, Two Baba, like, um, I've, uh, we've always known has always been humble. Like, yeah. he's always, like, he doesn't really proud. He was, he doesn't, he's not proud. Yeah. Uh, even when he meets younger cats and everything, they are trying to portray, he's always pulling them up, say, Afa, Afa, Afa. shake me and everything, try to hug them and embrace them. And it's also portraying this that okay, guys, I'm not actually angry about it, but then let me just address it so that everything dies down. People stop trying arguing to about it. argue about it, stay up, the unnecessary wahala and everything. Yeah. I said, we as Africans should push ourselves and support ourselves. We should not be our own enemies, like you like said. said. Be let's say, Africans, please wake up. We are feeding the whole world, but we are still defending our so called shepherds. I am not gingering violence, I just want us to support ourselves since every other race is treating us like non humans. Picture that fact, even though every other race fight among themselves, but it's only based on rich and poor. Mm. But they are always united when they deal with us black people. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. We don't have to violence, we only just need to value and patronize and support us very simple so to yeah. baba is saying guys let's always support each other one irrespective love. of what it, yes one love one love guys irrespective of anything they are saying it says two faces same thing as to baba mm -hmm. don't let's tear up anything we mm -hmm. should always love ourselves and anything anybody wants to use to break us apart ensure that you always love your neighbor and That's stay yourself. strong as always so always. this is two baba telling us that guys irrespective of the fact that they put my name in two face instead of two baba mm -mm, everything we see i see be legend and you cannot ever ever yeah. change my legendary yeah. status yeah tell us what you think in the comment section about this one you know two baba and bonaboy should they actually change the name from two face to two baba right now just like they did to bonaboy in 2019 putting his name in big fonts tell us in the comment section what you think about that one and we'll be there to answer to some if not all of your comments see you on the next one